I'm currently running a Gorman 1243 XSV and I use the LVS32 transducer. If you're currently a live scoper or in the market to get live scope, here's some great footage that will help you see what you will see out there. And this is a weekend trip, so you will see throughout this video, my bottom will be bouncing up and down. That's just waves from other boaters that are out on the lake. It was a really busy, busy day with uh, the warming temperatures. There's a lot of people out on the lakes. But this is uh, some of the stuff that I get to see out there, and this is what helps me be consistently on fish every trip that I go. And uh, those of you that, that that's visited me before on the channel, you know that I am uh, currently a full-time guide. And uh, those of you that this is the first time, y'all sit back and enjoy some of the great footage and uh I, I will be putting some tips in this video that will definitely help you become a better live scoper. And there's just some great footage to see how these fish react. Enjoy. Right now, most of the fish are in transition. The spawn is coming up very soon. I'm sure that there are some fish in the shallows already, especially the males. Uh, but this is my least favorite time to fish because you have to be so versatile to Consistently stay on these fish. You know, you see here. I've, I've dug deep into a uh, some structure and Got the attention of some fish. Here's uh, an open water fish and Right now what you're gonna have to deal with out there is picking fish up off of the bottom you will be having to go deep into some structure and also there will be uh, some fish just suspended out in open water. So it's like I've said for years, this is, you know, the, the spawn has always been my least favorite time of year because there's no solid pattern on what the fish will be out there doing. But uh, you can catch some really, really good fish. This is the time of year to possibly catch your personal best uh, because the fish are so laced with eggs. Uh, but it's like I did, like I said, you know, you have to be versatile this time of year. You just can't find a solid pattern on these fish. So being versatile uh, and open-minded is, is the way to go right now. Now, I will say this also. I know that you've seen that I've had several fish turn away. Uh, now, I did make a change to my jig. I mean, you can't see it. I'm only showing you my helm recording. Uh, I did make a change to my jig color. And jig color can be the difference between you really catching the fish good or catching the occasional fish. But either way, regardless of you changing baits or sizes, actions, all of that, you will not catch every fish that you come in contact with. You will not catch every fish that you come in contact with. So the faster you move on, the faster you get to your next fish, uh, they will not all feed. They will not all feed without a doubt. So uh, knowing that and, and uh, you know, if you come up on that fish, just go ahead and move to your next fish and you'll find the, the active fish you know you hear a lot of talk about active fish and those are the ones that you want to want to uh, chase down This tip is gonna rank right next to the number one tip which is coming up. I pay real close attention to is the bait fish. 
Uh, and the reason why I pay attention to that, it's not that I'm out there hunting down bait fish, but when I do see bait fish, I pay attention to how fast they're swimming. And that's what I try to mimic with the action that I give my baits. It's very important to make your jig do what other bait in the water is doing. Uh, if it's moving slow, move your bait slow. If it's darting around pretty fast, you can speed that action up. It will help you tremendously entice those fish to bite. Here, if you pay attention, you'll see that I'll back off of this fish. We do have a, a, a decent wind blowing too, uh, but if, if you pay attention to that bottom, like I said earlier, the lake was very busy and I had a pretty good wake coming to me. And uh, the that wake uh, would create boat slap. And that's something that you don't want to, to have when you're really close to these fish in this shallow water. So I allow my boat to drift back and uh, now that the wave is passed, I'm gonna tip back up to this fish and present my jig to him. Here's another tip. I'm not sure if you noticed just now, uh, I'm having several fish be in open water. So I increased my gain, my gain right there now is 62. And I run my gain a little bit hotter when I'm uh, chasing open water fish. Uh, since I don't have to have a distinguished brightness between structure and the fish when I'm when they're on brush piles uh, in open water I'll run my gain a little bit hotter just gives you a little more definition on those fish out there in open water Now here's a situation that I run into often, and I, I call these little fish the bodyguards of the bigger fish. You will find that uh, sometimes you'll you'll see a, a small fish that's that's 
like it's guarding the bigger fish. I'm not for sure what that's about. I know it's not a spawning thing because I see it year round. Uh, and one thing that I'll do is just go ahead and catch the little fish, get it out of the way, and then target that bigger fish. Sometimes that bigger fish will spook, uh, but you can sometimes track it down, which I'll have to do on this one right here. Uh, but this is something that you'll have to expect out there. And just taking your time, I mean, enjoy, enjoy yourself out there. And, uh, you know, you have to let, let it happen. You have to let it happen. You can't make it happen. You, you can make it happen by letting it happen. If you try to force it, you know, force your jig on these fish. And it's like I said earlier, look, pay attention to all of the other fish that are swimming, all the little bait fish. And that's what I'm trying to represent. So I just caught the little fish and you see the bigger fish. It spooks a little bit, but I'm going to be able to track it down and uh, put a hook in it too, to, to uh, bring it inside the boat. <laughs> now you're gonna laugh at this and I will tell you this I don't care who you are or how good you think you are with live scope you will preset that hook uh, and it's the anticipation of that fish hitting that bait uh, but it's like I said a while ago uh, you have to let it happen and uh, you, you have to give that fish the opportunity to put that jig in his mouth. Uh, if you take it away from him, he's not going to, usually not going to just ch chase it. And I, that's the fish I just went back and got right there. So a big tip, guys, is is uh, let that fish, you know, give him time to, to take that bait and don't jack it from him. One thing that is a definite must, and I've been preaching this since years before LiveScope ever came out, and that is run your troll motor on the absolute lowest speed that you possibly can, especially when you're fishing in waters as shallow as I am right here. You know, I'm in over 10 foot of water. Most of these fish are suspended six to eight foot down. And especially open water fish, they can be easily spooked. Uh, another big tip is when you drop that jig in the water, try to control it falling into the water because if you allow it to plop, there's something about that sound or vibration coming from the top of that water that really, really spook these fish. Uh, so another giant tip is is uh, ease your bait in the water. Uh, and like I said before, uh, most times you will you will have seconds to get your jig to that fish if you want to see the action on your live scope and that's what we pay all that money for to watch the reaction of that fish see your bait go down there but you have to make it happen very fast or you'll you know that fish is going to swim off your boat's going to drift off to where she you know he's not in the cone uh, so making it happen very quickly is very important If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that thumbs up. 
And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to show that you want more of this type of footage. As always, thanks for watching and more coming soon.